just comes with the turf. So if you're trying to be righteous in God, and you're trying to be an upright standard person, and you run into this difficulty with people in other situations fitting up, hold up! You're not by yourself. Nothing new under the sun. Right? He's saying this to the messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu If they deny and call you a liar, you insane, you meant to know him. Wait a minute, you're not the only one. He says, definitely, cut the messengers before you will call liars and deny. And then Allah says, Allah says, wa illallahi tunja'un umur. That all matters, all affairs return back to Allah. See, that's for us. Even if you differ on something, we say, Masha, we, we, we say, Allah know best, right? Masha, Allah know best, right? Like that. Allah, Allah, Allah know best. We may differ on something. Allah say, all matters, all affairs go back to Allah. And then we'll go we'll here before we close the first part. Now, look how Allah, he speaks to Muhammad the Prophet, where he says, can, can, you, kun is plural. But it's to us through Muhammad the Prophet, right? Now listen to the next ayah. Ayah 5 of this Surah 35. Allah says, back to mankind again. Yeah, nafsu, oh, all of mankind. Muhammad the prophet, the messenger to all of mankind, right? Not just like the other prophets that came to specific people, the Damu people, the children of Israel, or etc., etc., right? That he's speaking to all of mankind. Yeah, I nafsu in there, what in that law he Oh mankind, surely the promise of Allah is true. Always trust in Allah. If he say the result of good deeds is good, that those who believe and do good deeds are bonds under which rivers flow, etc., etc., have tough luck, he said, oh no, no, for sure, all of mankind, that the promise of Allah is true. If he promised you goodness, but if he promised you this punishment, it's true. And, it, and it's so beautiful. We just, uh, sometimes I do things on a board at home just to break things. On one end, he's talking about liars, right? That they call you a liar. Now, a lot comes to himself and said, oh, you mankind, you might be calling somebody a liar, but know for sure the promise of Allah is true. That's what it says. It's beautiful. Yeah, I you had nafsu in there. What the law who... What the lie here? Haku. We hear about the heart. It's real. And then Allah says, Fella. Beautiful for us, and we'll close on this. Always remember this next ayat. All of it goes. This is still fine. Fella. Tengurana kumul hayat el dunya. Let not. The life of this world, brothers and sisters, deceive you. Don't let this glow of this life that Shaitan has influenced, don't let it deceive you and have you thinking it's all of this and all of that, right? And you just focus on this at any cost, right? He said, don't let the life of this world deceive you, especially since Shaitan has done his thing, right? And Allah, and, 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 and we quoted this hadith before, and I have to move on, is uh, Jabril is reported that he was shown this vast creation, this world, before Shaitan got his hands on it. And it was so beautiful. He said, now who can go wrong in a beautiful creation like this? And then Allah showed him, he flipped with Shaitan's influence. And said, now who can go right in a world looking like this with Shaitan's influence? So Allah said, let not shaitan, he said, let not the life of this world deceive you. And Allah said in another place, O children of Adam, let not shaitan, right, deceive you, causing you to this and the other like he did to your parents, Adam and Eve, getting them out the garden. But here, the ayat continues, very beautiful. Then Allah says, let not the life of this world deceive you. But let me know it's shaitan's influence because Allah says, And 
when the master deceiver, let not the master deceiver deceive you about Allah. You see how it go? He said, let not this world deceive you. And then he says, well, and let not the master deceiver not only about this world but deceive you about Allah give you some idea about Allah that he won't protect you he won't help you right to deceive you to think he's just looking to punish you he's not merciful he's going to send you to hell he set traps for you no don't let him deceive you about Allah and Allah makes it clear who he's talking about. He says, Innashin, Intash, Innashaitan al-Lakum, Anduun, Fatakizuhu Anduun. And he says this, brothers, sisters, he says, Shaitan is your enemy. I'm going to stop here. Allah says this to us. He says, Inna shaitan al-lakum anduun. He said, he's your enemy. Fetekki thuhu anduun. So take him as your enemy. Now we're going to talk straight here to us. You see this world go to war, right? That's my enemy. I got to kill him before he kill me, right? This one, I'm going to drop an atomic bomb on him because he's my enemy. And here in our life, brother, sister, right here in our life, you might be wherever you are. That guy's my enemy. Them dudes on the other side, my enemy. We better pop them before they pop us. This crew is mine. That crew is those are our enemies. You better not come in my hood, right? That's how you handle them, right? Right? You see him as your enemy, going to do you in, right? Talk to us, right? Well, look what Allah said. Now, you're wondering, he's your enemy because he's trying to take your money, whatever's going on in the street, just like world wars, right? Well, I said to you, wake up. Shaitan is your enemy. What you going to do with him? Handle him the way you handle your man in the street. Handle them when you handle another country, right? He says, Shaitan is your enemy. So take him as your enemy. Do what? Fight the schemes of Satan, just like you'll fight somebody else. You see how Allah talks to us in our own language? He says, Satan is your real enemy. He even made the one that's your enemy in the street in the world your enemy by playing these games, right? He says, let not him deceive you to make your brother look like your enemy, that he does things. Pump drugs in the community. Pump weapons in the community. Play games. So we hate each other. So Allah says, Shaitan is your enemy. Not me, not him, not him. But if you see him that way, make sure you be fair and see Shaitan that way. And fight Shaitan. That's what Allah say, right? He's your enemy, so take him as your enemy. Don't take him as your friend. He say, take him as your enemy. And why? Allah says, in that man, yet who his who li yakunu min as habil sa'ir. Because he calls you to follow him. And you know what he will lead you to? To make you sahaba, as habil sa'ir. Companions of the hellfire. He don't care nothing about us. You see? He calls you to be in his, in his party, Hezbollah, but to lead you to be Sahabas of the blazing fire. That's what a real enemy is about. The end result is to get you in the hellfire. What I've done in the Hassan what I've done in the Hassan Atene, what I've done in the Hassan Atene, what I've done in the Hassan Atene, what I've done in the Hassan Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulihi kareem. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.